we got a very interesting question from uh, from our colleague, a credit pro. Okay. I can I can even provide you with the name. This is Declan Flood. It sounds like how should we measure the impact of lockdown on a business? Some businesses will survive, some won't. How can we know the difference in advance? Whether or not, Mr. Dennis, you would like to be first. So, no, I wouldn't, and I'll take it anyway since you offered. So now I, I, I can stop myself. So, so, so sadly, I, I had it here just a moment ago, my crystal ball, and I, I, dropped, I dropped it. It broke. Ah, so it is broken now. Yes, it's broken now. That you know, it's 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 analogous, I think, to asking. Uh, a, a new restaurant opened up down the street. And at least in, in the US and in, in North America, restaurants open and close like, like this. Yeah. Is this the restaurant that's gonna survive or is this the restaurant that's gonna, that's gonna die? The answer is, I don't know, only time will tell. Which, which of your customers are going to survive the lockdown? The answer is, I don't know for a variety of reasons. Uh, I, 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 I don't know what their financial condition is, their financial health is, I don't know what how significant the impact is of the uh, lockdown on their business, and I don't know what government intervention will be and how significant it will be and whether or not they will qualify for that government support. And as a consequence, I can't answer the question about which of our customers will survive because it doesn't work that way. There's, there, there's no... There's no metric that I can point to and say, well, if they if they have this much in the bank, or if their business is only dropped by 20%, or if their bad debts have, uh, have been limited to a million dollars, then they're going to survive. My answer is, every single one of those is going to be different, but it's analogous to, is that restaurant that just opened at the corner of the street, are they going to be in business a year in a year? And the answer is, I don't know, only time will tell. Well, let me, since we got time, we got no other questions, I will start from, from very far. Uh, quite recently, um, a Swiss Association of Credit Management did the research. What they found that about 40% of Swiss companies don't know financial stance of their customers. For them, there is no way to, to, to predict. Mm -hmm. And uh, I mean, if you don't, uh, how to say, if you don't wash your hands before taking a meal, what is the what is the probability of having dysentery or whatever it is, or, or of having diarrhea? Yeah? Mm -hmm. I mean, yep. maybe, maybe there are lots of things to be done in advance. And uh, another thing, I don't know if we if we got a black swan with the lockdown or not. But as soon as we understood that there is a lockdown, we can assess what's supposed to go. And if we know, if we got financials of our customer, mm -hmm. we, 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 we can at least try to assess what it is. This assessment is not really a guarantee or just like, is not a crystal ball, but at least something better, which, uh, you know, which makes us different from being blinded. Mm -hmm. Although we are in, 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 in a heavy fog, it is much more better than being completely blinded, you know, like this or like, you know, like just covered eyes or having no eyes at all. Mm -hmm. Yeah, in a fog, we can see a little bit. But what I was saying uh, in the beginning of the lockdown, we, we were having a webinar, I said, ladies and gentlemen, if you didn't do your credit assessment before lockdown, Mm -hmm. Don't start it now, mm -hmm. because classical risk assessment, knowing there is a lockdown, will never work. Mm -hmm. During the time of lockdown, you're supposed to be able to do a risk assessment plus stress test and see 
which what level of impact your every of your customer is able to afford mm -hmm. if your customer is is able to stay got cash for three months mm -hmm. that's one story another another of your customers has has cash only for one week the same story if the sales of all your customer will drop by 30 percent what will be an impact on their business again this is this is not a crystal ball but this way you at least able to see the higher or lower probability of this or that customer to survive because in this crisis time there would be as the client clearly said there would be customer who will die there will be customers who survive if we come back to united states and uh, I'll, I'll always recall professor altman who says that majority of bad deaths do not happen at the time of crisis they happen two 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 years later mm -hmm. they happen in two years so we didn't see the real picture yet because very often companies got their the excessive cash or they're they they're, they're changing their way of consumption and so on and so on so it is coming but this is our window window uh, of opportunities to calculate and see who gonna survive who will survive with the limited support provided from our side so we we, we maintain supply chain mm -hmm. and who will die without with, with every support every possible support which could be provided so the, the, this is and this is our job as credit pros mm -hmm. the, the question to us whether or not we used to analyze customers and got right in hand credit analysis, whether or not we model uh, the, the model, uh, we, we, we make a model of, uh, we, we understand our customer's business model. Mm -hmm. We see how does it work. Whether or not we're able to do a stress test, even basic one. And then, is supposed to come uh, to an answer. Yes, but uh, since we are measuring performance for situations like lockdown, this is uh, this is complete disaster. There is no measurement for the disaster. Mm -hmm. Another question for us, since we already have an experience, I believe every credit department is supposed to have that disa credit disaster recovery plan mm -hmm. for the situations like this just on a piece of paper whether or not we've been modeling that situation in our portfolio so we at least got an idea what to do in such a situation or we will simply you know raise our hands up and said okay will happen what it happened like uh, what is i mean final joke for for today i try not to say them what is your strategy uh we run as a deer in a firing wood. <laughs> Destiny leads us. So that, that's only our choice. I'd prefer to base uh, the strategy on data.